What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Capricorn, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and to be notified for future readings. This is free channel collective reading for Sign of Capricorn. This could resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Sun, moon, hand, to your chart. Stuff to the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for Sonic Caps. This could resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your chart. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, moon, rising, and north node signs for additional message or messages if they do apply for you. These are psychic, psychic intuitive, prophetic messages. And this is for the Sonic Capricorn. Um, one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you plug it into your own specific life and story and situation. However, it tailors and resonates for you, Capricorn, okay? Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,330 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. If you choose to donate, I received many channelings for you for this round, many. So I'm going to go ahead and offload them. I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do. Okay, so um, the first one, well, of course, you only plug the messages into your own life, how they resonate, okay? Just say it. There's 13,330, you guys, so you have to plug it in, how it resonates. So the first one I heard... Um, Oh, crap. Hold on. There was so many of them. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, a Capricorn's about to find out about his... Uh, Pisces about to secretly get married soon. However, it's about to seriously backfire on her. She's under heavy investigation. She's a huge fraud and thief. She will be jailed soon. That was the first one. Um, some kind of Piscean dim energy. She, um, you're about to find out she's secretly got married. Um, but... She's a huge fraud and thief, um, and it's about to backfire on her. her she, she's under heavy investigation. She's about to be jailed soon. Uh, and other many negative series of shame events are going to occur for her. And other many negative series of shame events are going to occur for her. So you plug it in, how it resonates. The other one I heard, a Libra is about to seriously betray you soon. A Libra is about to seriously betray you. That could be masculine or Libra. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising. Venus, North Node, Menhaven, or Jupiter charts. Um, and then, what was the other ones? There was a couple more, and I forgot them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A Capricorn's about to find out about um, someone about to get terminated for having sexual relationships with a subordinate in a workplace situation. That was the next one. Uh, it's not you, Capricorn. It's somebody you're connected to. Somebody, it sounds like, a manager, boss, supervisor, CEO is having sex with a subordinate, uh, an employee under them. And it sounds like they're about to get terminated um, for not using their head correctly and having sex with somebody underneath them in rank in a workplace situation is what it sounds like. Um, I wonder if they work in a no fraternization policy kind of thing, but I don't know. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. And um, what was the other one? There was another one. Oh, yeah. Homeowners Association is about to become very significant in the Capricorn's life. That was the other one. Homeowners Association is about to become very significant in the Capricorn's life. So some kind of homeowners association is about to become significant in your life. You could be a head of this board member of the whole homeowners association or live in a, a, a homing division that incorporates a homeowners association however that resonates some kind of homeowners association is about to become significant in your life i feel you might become a board member of this homeowners association or a chair member of the homeowners association or something of that nature i'm not sure you have to plug it in your own life how it resonates um i'm not part of a homeowners association um but uh, one of you guys is or is about to become a part. Maybe you move in a subdivision that is a part of a homeowners association. You plug it in how it resonates in your own life, Capricorn.
If everybody could please think of me, I have a court date on July 15th of 2022, a child custody battle between me and my ex-husband. Um, this is not the first rodeo with him. It's actually about at least rodeo five. Spirit messages you have for sign of Um, It's at least rodeo five. It's, I think it's more like six or seven. Um, every time he's taken me to court, every single time. Um, the first couple times were child support adjustments back in, uh, I was licensed as an RN in 2013. I started working as an RN in 2014. As soon as I started working as an RN in 2014, he took me for child support adjustment because his wife at the time was not even, um, she, I don't even think she was in school yet to be an RN. Um, if she was, she was early in. So he took me um, for child support adjustments, which I, I understood that. Spirit messages you have signed on Capricorn. But then after that, he's taken me time after time after time again. Just a couple years ago, it was accused me of child abuse. The time before that, I had a boyfriend at that time, the time before that. And um, he was trying to, um, this was about six years ago, and I'll just tell you why I'm shuffling out. It was about six years ago, and he um, was so pissed that I had a boyfriend. Spirit messages you have to sign a cap for him. And he, would he um, incorporated my daughter, which she was about 10 at that time. He, he magically bought her a phone at that time, um, and, but manipulated her to go around with the phone because my boyfriend lived 45 minutes from me. He lived in Madison at the time. But he swore up and down that he lived with me. So he was trying to prove and manipulate my daughter to prove that he lived with me. So he had her take the device and take pictures of clothes that I allowed my um, boyfriend at the time to keep in a drawer at my house and pictures of his razor and toothpaste and things like that, toothbrush on my sink and things like that, had, had my daughter take pictures of them to prove his evidence in the court of law that he was living with me, but he did not live with me. Um, and he had her have a, uh, get the same device with like a streaming device, I think it was Google Duo, and had her walk around my home and uh, with my ex-husband on there, on the video camera, to see my home. To like see if there was anybody in my home. True story. That was about six years ago. So I'm just kind of giving you examples of what I've had to deal with this with this man. That was in one court battle. Then the court battle after about two years ago it was child abuse. And then this one upcoming. More accusations. So I mean it's time after time after time after time again with this guy. Time after time after time again. He's not he's not mentally correct. And I'm serious. And he manipulates child and children, which is really sad. Spirit messages you have signed. Okay. Hashtag live free if anybody needs to hear that. A Capricorn is about to turn a situation around on a Libra in a huge way. A huge fire is about to get lit under their ass. A Capricorn's about to turn a situation around on a Libra in a huge way. A huge fire is about to get lit under, lit under their ass. For some, a Libra. For some, a Gemini. Okay. A Capricorn um, is about to turn some a situation around on a Libra. Some a situation around on a Gemini in a huge way. About to get a huge fire lit under their ass. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. Some of you guys are dealing with a Libra, some a Gemini. They could have Libra or Gemini in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. But um, one of you guys, I heard a Libra was going to betray one of you guys, for one. It could be the one you're about to turn this situation around on, for some, for some maybe not. But one of you guys is about to turn a situation around in a huge way, some on a Libra, some on a Gemini. They could, it could be masculine, femme, Libra, masculine, femme, Gemini. They could have Libra or Gemini in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Caps. We have Crow, Peacock. For some, well, for some, you're heavily dealing with the Libra. Um, for some, a Gemini. So you have double air sign energy in here. So that's your Libra and Gemini energy. If um, Strongly dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, for some, two or two plus Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some Libra, some Gemini, some maybe both. Um, and that's your air sign energies here. 
your crow and peacock. Number 23 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 23 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 23. We have seahorse, family matters, lobster, financial pinch, dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Crow. And huge enlightenment coming for a particular Capricorn. Huge. And a Taurus is about to do something you never thought they would do. Huge enlightenment coming for a particular Capricorn. Huge. So enlightenment, bazinga moment, light bulb moment for at least one Capricorn. And a Taurus is about to do something a Capricorn thought they would never do. So some kind of torn energy. Um. They're about to do something you never thought they would do, Caps. Whatever that is, I'm not sure. You have to plug in your own life how it resonates. Uh, crows, by the way, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, they're very symbolic of pro prophecies coming true. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know that. Uh-uh, hey, no. So maybe some kind of prophecies have came true in your life or they're about to um is what i'm feeling for some of you guys uh maybe somebody's prophetic messages have came true or there are coming true in your life or some kind of prophecies period are coming true or have come true um it's also indicative of spiritual awakening and enlightenment and that would make sense with the enlightenment energy you plug it in how it resonates also i feel the color black is significant for somebody for some reason I'm not sure why. I didn't hear that. I just feel the color black may be significant for at least one of you guys. Um, I just feel that. So you plug it in how, how it resonates. Peacock. So much truth has been aired out so publicly and so much more truth is about to be aired out so publicly. A very cocky Libra and a very cocky Gemini has a lot to do with this. You're about to really stand your ground to, for one, to one of these people. For some, an Aries. Okay. Heard a lot of truth has already been exposed and more is about to be exposed very, very, very publicly. So a lot of public exposure energy. Now, whether you want this truth exposed or not, I'm not sure. You have to plug yourself in on what end you're in on here. But um, cocky energy here, whether it's the Libra, the Gemini, or the Aries, they can have Libra, Gemini, or Aries, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, main, Jupiter, Jupiter, charts. So they're coming off as a peacock energy, very cocky, very egotistical, very ego-driven. Um like you can't touch me kind of energy, like I'm the best thing since sliced cheese, whoever they are. For some it's a Pisces, for some it's a Pisces. For some it's a Libra, for some it's a Gemini, for some it's a Capricorn, I'm sorry, for some it's a Libra, for some it's a Gemini, for some it's a Pisces, for some it's a um, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, or um, who was the other one? Um, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Aries, Aries. Um, but they're coming off the peacock, very egotistical, ego-driven, um, can't touch this kind of energy. All tied up. A Capricorn had a wonderful idea to start a business idea and include other people in it. However, the one particular person they really want to include in it, they know will not agree and they're right. They will not. They will not. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. 
And one Capricorn is in jail, and another one's about to go to, go to jail for a mini-series of chain of events. Oh, Lord. Okay. So, one Capricorn's currently in jail right now. This is all tied up. This is either physical jail, physical imprisonment. Like, physical jail, physical prison, or mental imprisonment. Like, entrapment energy. It's the Eight of Swords in the regular deck. Um, one Capricorn's already in jail, I heard. One's in jail now, currently in the energetic space. One is about to go to jail through many series of chain of events. So they're about to be in jail too. Um, and one of you guys wants to um, ask somebody to be a part of a business idea, but I heard you know they won't agree to it. Um, it sounds like you've asked many people or you're going to ask many people, but there's one particular key player, and, excuse me, key person that you really want a part of this business idea, but I heard the one that you really, really want they won't agree to it, and I heard you're right, they won't. So I think that's mental entrapment because um, you know that person is a key part and key player to whatever business idea this is, but you know they won't agree to it. But the thing is, is they have free will, and that's their right if they don't want to be a part of this business idea here, Capricorn, if anybody needs to hear that. So, you know, if you know they're not going to agree, and I heard spiritual confirmation that they won't, then it better just leave them alone because you don't want to force it. Um, Anything forced in life is not good. You want it to be flow in natural, natural, energetic space. You don't ever want to force anything with anybody because it always ends up blowing up in your damn face. If anybody needs to hear that. House. Someone is about to leak very, very important government secrets soon. It is someone you work with, and they they hide their energy very well. They're about to leak it to someone in a different country. It's about to create many negative series of chain events for your project. Know this. You work for the government, the United States government. Oh, my God. You plug it in, how it resonates. So one of you guys works for the United States government, which I've been pulling one of you guys in that does work for the government. Um, top secret energy. But uh, I think that might be you, but you plug it in, how it resonates. But you're working on a project at work. You work for the United States government. I'm feeling top secret energy, but you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard someone that you work with, that you work with currently in your project for the government, is what it sounds like, is about to leak your project secrets or secrets of the government, I heard, to somebody else. So they're basically uh, in another country, I heard, in another country. So they are basically a, um, what's it called? Um, What's it called when you're a betrayer of your country? Um, I can't think of the term. Um, when you betray your country, um, what is that term called? I'm not going to look it up. You know what I mean. When you betray your country, whatever that term is called, when you betray your country. Um, I am going to look it up. It's driving me crazy. Traitor, traitor, yeah. Uh, they're a traitor, they're a traitor. Um, and I heard it's about to leak your project. Very, 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 um, it's going to create negative series of chain events for your project. So um, it's going to actually make it come to a standstill, know this. And this person will eventually be exposed. And it's going to make it come to a standstill, know this, and this person will eventually be exposed. So this person you work with, I heard they cloak their energy very well. So you probably have no idea who this person is that's about to do this. They work with you within the government somewhere. And I think project office is what I'm presuming. Um, but they haven't done it yet, but they're about to. But when they do leak it to someone else in a different country, I heard it's about to make the project come to a complete stop, halt. Um, and eventually this person will be exposed. So, I don't know how they're going to be exposed, maybe from the person they leaked it to or somebody else. You plug it in how it resonates, but you, uh, 
you are connected to this because you work for the government and you work with this person in a project. Um, I think y'all do a pro um, some kind of project, work in a project office together is what I'm presuming. You plug it in how it resonates. House? A Capricorn is about to sell their home. In a, a vacation home, foundation crumbling is very significant in a Capricorn's life. A Capricorn is about to sell their home in a vacation foundation crumbling in a vacation home is very significant in a Capricorn's life. So some kind of vacation home energy, the foundation is crumbling. I've been picking that up too in the energetic space. So the physical foundation of the foundation of the vacation home is crumbling and that that is significant one of you guys is life it could be your vacation home or somebody you're connected to's vacation home and um one of you guys is uh selling your home or is about to sell your home so so you're selling home energy um i don't know if this is for fast cash energy or you're set, fixing it up and selling it however that resonates and applies only you know your story now anybody else New windows are significant for one Capricorn and a new roof. New windows are significant for one Capricorn and a new roof. So some kind of new windows and a new roof energy. You plug it in, how it resonates, and a new fireplace for one. And a new fireplace for one. So new windows, new roof, and new fireplace for one of you guys. You plug it in, how it resonates. Seahorse, family matters. A particular family member you left out in the cold, you really regret it now, and you will really continue to regret it. Know this. Okay, a family member you left out in the cold, um, that you left out, Capricorn, I heard in the cold, you um, you have already, it sounds like you're already regretting it, and you're going to continue to re regret it. So, we have the Family Matters card, so... Um, uh, obviously, this family member didn't matter to you. I heard you left them out. You left them out. Uh, it sounds like intentionally. Um, and now, why you left them out, I don't know. I don't know if it was anger, maliciousness, jealousy, uh, what have you, what have you. I don't know. Whoever this family member is, you left out and how that resonates. But I heard you already regret it. You're going to continue to regret it. Regret it. And a family member of yours is about to go to jail soon for one. And a family member of yours is about to go to jail soon for one. A lot of jail in here. So a caps, caps is currently in jail. A caps is about to go to jail. And for one of you guys, a family member is about to go to jail. So you plug it in how it resonates. And a Libra is about to try to come back into a Leo's life. This will not happen. Know this. The police will get called on this person. You might want to warn this person. It is a part of your family. Okay, so for one of you guys, you have a Libra family member. Uh, the Leo is a part of your family too. The Leo is a part of your family too. So Capricorn, you have a Leo and a Libra family member. They could have Leo or Libra and they're Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Feminine, Hair, Jupiter, Charts, Masculine or Feminine, Leo or Libra. But the Leo, I heard, I'm mean, sorry, the Libra is about to try to come back into the Leo's life. They're both your family members. I heard spiritual download in that it would be smart for you to warn the libra that it wouldn't be smart to try to come back into the leo's life because they uh the leo will call the police on libra so you plug it in your own life how it resonates there um capricorn um the leo apparently does not want the libra in their life so it'd be smart apparently you connect with this libra so it'd be smart for you to warn the libra to stay away from the leo because it sounds like if the Libra comes around, it sounds like protection order or restraining order energy. So if this person doesn't want a restraining order or protection order on them, it'd be smart for them to stay away from um, him or her, the Leo, whoever this Leo is. Only you would know who this person is, not anybody else. So family matters. So nobody gets restraining orders and protection orders put on them is what I'm presuming. Financial pinch.
A, re a huge reality check about finances is really important in one Capricorn slide, 40 or 40 and below. A huge reality check about finances is very significant in a Capricorn slide, 40 and below is what I heard. So some kind of huge reality check of finances, I feel you're 40 or below. And you're having some kind of huge reality check about finances in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I think you're in a financial pinch. And I think you have to re-budget or re-look at your finances or re-evaluate um, how you spend your money and how much you spend and your bills and your budgeting and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you're 40 or below, masculine or feminine, if that resonates for you, Capricorn. Um, I just think it's re-evaluation of how much you're spending, how much you're outputting, how much you're saving, that kind of thing. Dolphin financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. For one, a sex video of the past is about to bring you income. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. For one, a sex video you did in the past is about to bring you income. Well, at least somebody didn't um, hidden camera videotape you and take all the money. Like Secret 7, just saying, just saying. Uh, it sounds like um, you have financially, it sounds like you authorized this video and you uploaded it. It sounds like on some kind of online platform. Or, um, I think it's on my platform, because I heard it's about to bring you money. It's a sex video of the past. Um, so you either sold it to, uh, the rights to it, to be reproduced all across the country, or you uploaded it online, um, but it's a sex video you did in the past, but you consented to this. You consented to this. This was not being done secret with hidden camera voyeur energy to where somebody could steal the content and just go off and just go stream it all over the country and the world without somebody getting a damn dime from it. And that's just the truth. So, I mean, I'm all about consent and authorization. As long as you knew you uh, consented and agreed to this and you're getting money for it, um, kudos to you. I mean, I would never make six videos for money. I wouldn't personally, but, um, you know, whatever floats your boat there, Capricorn, but it's some kind of uh, sex video you made in the past that's about to bring you money. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? A Pisces is about to find out she's pregnant with triplets. It's about to shock the hell out of you and an Aquarius. A Pisces is about to find out she's pregnant with triplets. It's about to shock the hell out of you and an Aquarius, is what I heard. So some kind of Pisces fam energy that is pregnant with triplets. So three gestations in the womb. Three, not just one, three. Um, I think she might have thought she was pregnant with one or maybe twins, but sounds like she's pregnant with triplets. Three. This is about to create huge stress. Huge stress. And it's about to make people do things they never thought they would do. Okay, so she's about to find out she's pregnant with three. Three, not one, three. Um, you know her in some shape, form, or fashion. I don't know if you're a family member, a friend, a co-worker, a neighbor, a community member, a ball team member, etc., etc., etc. However, you know this Pisces femme, but she's not pregnant with one. She's pregnant with three, and somehow an Aquarius is connected to this. I don't know if this is baby daddy or a family member, or what have you, what have you, but somehow an Aquarius energy is connected to the three gestations. I heard it's about to cause a lot of stress, and it's about to make people do a lot of things they never thought they would do. The wife is about to go livid. Know this. Livid. Oh my God, I heard the wife is about to go livid. Oh my God, so he's, I think the Aquarius is the baby daddy. Somebody's married in this mix. I think she got pregnant, but oh my God, I think the Aquarius is the baby daddy. Because I heard Aquarius is connected in this. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. And um, the wife is about to go livid. Livid. Livid means very, very, very angry. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. This is about to cause a shit storm in a community. A shit storm. 
This is about to cause a shitstorm in a community. A shitstorm. I heard it so loud. Wow. Okay, so this is so juicy. So the Pisces fam is pregnant by somebody that's married. I'll tell you that right now. And I strongly feel it's an Aquarius or somebody that has Aquarius in their chart. Very wealthy Aquarius. Very wealthy. It is about to start going very downhill for him in many ways very soon. A very wealthy Aquarius, a very wealthy one. It's about to start going downhill for him very soon. So, okay, a Pisces fam is pregnant with triplets. I think she doesn't think she's pregnant with triplets uh, right now. Or that's what I'm thinking. I think she's about to find out she's pregnant with triplets. Three. Uh, not one, three. I heard it's about to cause a shitstorm in a community. The wife is about to be livid. I wonder if the wife is about, the wife is about to take her for a divorce, uh, him for a divorce. I would. Um, and it is about to go so downhill for Gemini, so downhill, quickly. And it is about to go so downhill for Gemini, so downhill for Gemini, quickly. So, oh my God, you can't, oh my God, you can't make this crap up. If you wanted to, change with the wealthy man. I heard he's a wealthy Aquarius and he's married. He's a married, a wealthy Aquarius, but he's got this Pisces fin pregnant with triplets. This is the wealthy Aquarius. Oh my God. Change. The livid wife. The community is about to find out. I think it's the change is the divorce too. Uh, I wonder if Capricorn, if you're his wife or a family member. I this is a hot mess, you guys. My God, you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy shit almighty, this is so crazy. Heard it's about to go downhill quickly for Gemini. So I don't know who this Gemini is and how they're connected. I have no idea. But um, a Pisces fan pregnant with three babies by a very wealthy Aquarius masculine. And I'll tell you that. With this main female Pisces fan. High on a reverse. They're going to get high on a reverse in the community. There's about to be concern. Oh my God, it's all over the place in here. There's about to be concern in the community. The wife's about to be livid. I think she's about to take his ass for a divorce, or at least I hope she does. Ma'am, if you are a Capricorn or watching this video, hope you take his ass for a divorce because you have every legal right to do so. He's messing around on you, ma'am. Hopefully there's no prenuptial agreement. Just saying, just saying. Um, it's about to cause a lot of change. If there's no prenuptial agreement, you'd be able to get half. And he's very wealthy. Very wealthy. Wow, you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God, this is so juicy. Let me see if I hear anything else. These people are about to wish they never messed with the chosen one, ever. These people are about to wish they never messed with the chosen one, ever, is what I just heard. So somehow these people screwed with the chosen one. Um, so, you know, part of the 144,000, like we all are. Uh, one of us chosen ones. They mess with one chosen one or two or two plus chosen ones. Um, and negatively. But I don't think the Pisces Femme is a chosen one. I don't think the wealthy Aquarius masculine is a chosen one. Um, and I, I don't think a lot of members of this community is chosen ones. Um, I think they were ones that were gang stalking, bullying, harassing, or retaliating against a chosen one. But now they're about to get negative karma, i.e. in the form of this Pisces Femme I think she was a uh, sugar, um, he was her sugar daddy, is what I think. But now she's pregnant with triplets, triplets, my God Almighty. Um, and now the community's about to find out. It is about to, they're about to find out so, so, so quickly after she finds out. It is about to go like wildfire. Whether these people want it out or not, it is about to go so, so, so quickly like wildfire, whether they wanted to or not. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. I wonder if it's this Pisces fem that just got married. There's a Pisces fem that just got married too. I don't know. Holy shit, this is so crazy. God. <laughs> you plug it in, how it resonates. You plug it in, how it resonates. All right, I love you guys. Namaste.